Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So summer's coming up. I decided to do a video for you people who might be traveling to Barbados, you know, to come enjoy yourself. So I wanted to give you guys the ideas. So here, 10 things you can do when you come to Barbados. Number 10, go to Chafet. There are about 15 or so Chafet establishments in Barbados. And some of them also have the barbecue bar restaurant like attached to them so you could go try our fast food it is unique to Barbados no one else has them big up sir Halut pretty sure he was knighted yeah he was big up Halut and yeah go try it it's amazing number nine go to Bay Tavern in St. John it is a restaurant located in the east of the country and it is like, a big lemme spot on a Thursdays. So yeah, try Bay Tavern. They mainly do like fish and chips and stuff because Martins Bay is a fishing village. So it's a lot of fish and chips. You could get chicken and stuff as well. So go try Bay Tavern. Number eight. So you can visit some of our sites. So you have like some very great house, Harrison's Cave, St. John Parish Church, and many more. I know Flow Cave. You have a lot of things to choose from. Go visit those places. They're pretty cool. Number seven. So to me, there are like two things you could do in the gap. There's clubbing or going to restaurants. <laughs> so the clubbing mainly i want to say thursday friday saturday uh, i believe the restaurant should be open during the week i've never been but i do know some people who go in the gap and try the different restaurants along the stretch and that is located in Christchurch. so st lawrence gap is a place for you guys to go check out your nightlife once you're up for it number six take a stroll through bridgetown they do have some buildings like Parliament Building and then you have like Independent Square and stuff. It's our capital so those who come from the port have to go to Bridgetown. <laughs> and yeah it's a really nice place just to walk around and then at Christmas time we have trees in Independent Square and I think Dunley Courts, Lower Broad Street side. Yeah to show that you're in name. And I, I live in the island, but yeah. Go and take a stroll through town, check out K Shepherd. Do the free alcohol and stuff in there, so. Number five. Check out oysters on a Friday night. It is very lively. It's like a fish fry, I believe. That's what they say. It's gone. And there are plenty stalls out there to choose from to eat some fish and chips or whatever you please to eat check it out because there's usually music and then people dance and stuff that's one thing that you guys could check out and then in April we have the Oysters Fish Festival going on and that's actually pretty really interesting stalls all along the road and then there is a greasy pole competition this year they had a celebrity chef cook off <sighs> yeah number four activities go do activities so there's like island safari which is actually pretty fun now the guys don't drive as rough as they used to but it's actually still a lot of fun so yeah island safari go underwater in the submarine i went plenty times almost 10 times actually and i enjoy it every single time go see the fish turtles Sometimes we may see an octopus and shipwrecks. Ooh, catamaran cruises are really, really nice. You can actually get a package with Island Safari and Catamaran on Saturdays only, I believe. So you go on the Island Safari and then you go to the Catamaran cruise. I think you get lunch, drinks, snacks, whatever, whatever, whatever. And trust me, Catamaran cruises are to die for. You stop and you swim with the turtles. The waters are so blue, so clear. And you just relaxing on the boat sailing for like maybe three to five hours depending on your package. Number three. That makes six. But three. Go and watch the sunset. Sunsets are very beautiful. 
So for me, my spots would be Pirate Cove, go and sit down with a drink and watch the um, sunset. But also at Pirate Cove, you can go snorkeling with the turtles and stuff. Yeah, that's also something you can do. But yeah, the sunsets are really lovely. And the other spot is the boardwalk in Christchurch. Start at Acre Beach and just walk along the boardwalk. It could be really romantic if that's what you're into. So yeah, the boardwalk and um, Pirate School for me. People may say Mullins Beach, that's a St. Peter. I have never been to Mullins Beach. But anywhere along the West Coast, just go. I give you two spots you could go and check out the sunset from. On to number two, beaches. You can't come Barbados and not go to the beaches unless you just stay for a few hours and can't leave the airport. But the beaches, the west of Barbados is a lot calmer than the east coast. So a lot of people flock to the beaches on the west. However, in the east, at like Bashibo, you got soup bowl. Not too sure when that is, can't remember. Um, you got like Bath Beach. And then where I live in St. Philip, there are like a few little beaches surrounded by the cliff, yeah? So then you got walk down some steps. So you got like, I think there's one called Peak Bay, I've never been. I should check it out soon. There's Bottom Bay, if you just want to like hide away from a big crowd of people and just like relax, take in the sun. Bottom Bay, Harris Smith Bay, Korean Beach, which is the Korean Hotel. Yeah, there's a lot of like low beaches about the place. You just need to know where to look and who to ask to find beaches. So I think you just need to go three or four beaches. And then on the west, you got like Browns Beach, Pebbles, Hilton, Mullins, in front of Sandy Lane. I'm not too sure what that area they call, but yeah, that area. So yeah, you guys. Visit the beaches, really nice. West coast is calm, east coast is a little bit rough, but you know what? It's enjoyable, anyways. And number one for me would be to take a drive around the entire island. Now, if you can rent a car, I think renting cars from some companies start at a hundred billion dollars. I want to say it's a hundred billion dollars a day, which would be like 50 US. If it was a hundred US. Then. But I honestly think it's like a hundred billion dollars a day, which will be 50 US. Take a drive around the country, it's just gonna be like five to six hours. If you include a lot of stops, take some food. Like we do this when someone new comes around us or just like staying for a little bit, or sometimes we just wanna pack up and take a drive. Take a drive around the island, stop on the east coast, take some photos of my Barclays Park, go all the way to St. Lucie, to Animal Flower Cave, drive around to St. Peter, St. James, down to Bridgetown, all the way down to Christchurch in the south. Well, yeah, we passed the west, gone down to the south now. And then I guess you can end it off watching some planes at the airport when they land. It's all pretty cool. So if you want to do that, I would suggest starting maybe like 10 o'clock-ish, 11 o'clock-ish in the east if you want to catch sunset in the west. It's all just like... <sighs> and it's one thing I wish we did more often to be quite honest. Okay guys, so that is it from me and this video so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video so yeah don't forget to like subscribe stay tuned for more coming your way bye